Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Sarah Dawn. I have inattentive type ADHD and I have been diagnosed for approximately almost three years now. And since then I've also been taking the medication Atomoxetine, which is also called Stratera. I've got multiple other videos on my journey throughout taking this medication um, and my experiences with ADHD on my channel. So if you'd like to have a look at those, you're welcome to. I stand by my claim that atomoxetine absolutely changed my life and um, I would be in a very different place than I am now without it. Um, in fact, probably one of my biggest fears is not being able to <laughs> take my medication. Um, but looking at a more positive side, <laughs> um, you know, it, it really has had a huge impact on my life to the point where I'm grateful every day that I'm able to take it. And I want to talk a bit about the doses, the dosages, the doses um, that you can take of atomoxetine, and my personal experience with this, and what I've read basically online, um, and watched other people's YouTube videos, etc. I want to put a disclaimer out there that I am not a medical professional. I'm just somebody who is diagnosed with ADHD. Um, so please do not take this as medical advice. And if you want to discuss doses. You should really be doing that with your psychiatrist or doctor who really probably has a much better insight than myself who's just done a little bit of research online and have some experience myself and um, yeah I feel that medication is a two-way street in that when you're making a decision about it it should be not just your doctor telling you what to do but also you um, having your own opinion about and you know being able to make your own choices as well um, so the medication that I personally take is atomoxetine, it's sometimes known as Stratera, um, the box I buy now just says atomoxetine on it, but occasionally it says Stratera, so I think it just depends where you get it, but the actual medication is atomoxetine, I think Stratera is more like a brand name. Um, so before I started taking this medication I decided to look online for what it was about, I learn about you know how it was an SNRI, how it was first brought out and tried as an antidepressant and they just fell in luck I guess and found out that it actually can do wonders for people with ADHD and my psychiatrist told me himself that it is really good for people who have more um, anxiety and depression symptoms from their ADHD and um, it's good for balancing out emotions as well. So. I was really keen to try this uh, medication. Obviously there's so many other types of medication you can take, like there's plenty of stimulants as well, um, but my, doc my doctor recommended this one for me so I thought I'd give it a go. I was very, very anxious about side effects so I told him that, I, ma I made it very clear that I was anxious about side effects. Whether that made him give me a smaller dose of this medication or just from his experience a smaller dose is probably best to start everyone on, I'm not sure but I began on 10 milligrams. However, when I'd researched online previously, I saw a lot of people saying that they'd started on 40 milligrams and, you know, the doctors either recommended that they work their way up or they try different medication because they found that they had a lot of side effects. And, you know, being anxious about taking side effects, it put me right off the medication. And I, you know, was very, very worried about taking it, but I know I had to do it because I was in such a bad place. So I had three days off work, that's when I decided to first take it and I took the 10 milligrams and I, the first day I took it I felt very very sleepy, I'm very glad that I was at home, I don't think I would have been able to work um, and bearing in mind this was just 10 milligrams which is a very very low dose and possibly the lowest dose you can buy, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I took 10 milligrams for one month and after or should I say from day two to sort of like the two week period I had very 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 mild symptoms occasionally my stomach didn't feel quite well but you know I suffer from stomach issues anyway um so if that exasperated that or it was just um there was just a coincidence I don't know and I, actually I think anxiety had something to do with that because I was quite anxious about taking it but you know and I also had a bit of a dry mouth but basically after that I didn't really have any uh, side effects and I was very very happy about that. Um, every single month we, I pretty much went back to my doctor and he prescribed me the next um, 
goes up, I think it goes 8, 10, 18, 25, 40, I think it's something like that. So what I ended up doing, I think, you know, it was quite a long time ago, so I can't remember ex exactly all the details, but I ended up at 30 and that was taking three 10 milligram tablets because that's something that my doctor said can be done with this medication. Obviously, don't just try that, like check um, and speak to your doctor about that, but this is what he recommended for me. So he suggested I try the 30 milligrams at one stage and I tried the 30 milligrams and it was too much for me. And it's really shocked me because, you know, I'd seen all these people take you know be recommended like 40 milligrams on their first go so being 30 was too much for me was um you know i kind of thought maybe my adhd adhd wasn't as bad as those people and you know had all these like ideas of why that was but i'm not sure i think everybody's brain is just totally different um for many different reasons and you know how you can be sensitive to a certain medication and someone else isn't like for me cocodamol like it's really really good for getting rid of migraines but it makes me really really sleepy whereas I know somebody who can take it and has no effects on like double the dose of that what what I would take so I think it has something to do with that as well just like in a theory that I have um yeah so I um told my doctor that the medication on I pretty much emailed him actually and said the medication that I'm on is um giving me two bad side effects and I think I told him that it was making me too sleepy which would be making it very hard for me to work it was easy for me to focus in some ways but I couldn't enjoy that because my emotions didn't feel right if that makes sense like I've talked about emotional blunting um on one of my videos before um as I've heard a lot of other people with um who take this medication have that issue as well um basically I felt like a bit of a zombie until well for the whole day and he recommended I take that medication at night so I started taking it in the evening and then the next day I was still feeling that way um it actually was really difficult coming down from so I was taking it in the morning and I had to switch the evening so I pretty much went a day without taking it and I did get some physical and emotional symptoms from that which weren't pleasant um so I guess they had some withdrawal effects perhaps but um, yeah, I suddenly felt my ADHD back in full force again and it just was very, very like unpleasant and I couldn't believe the difference in how I felt. Um, but anyway, I was able to take that again in night time, but then the next day I still was feeling quite drowsy until like mid-afternoon or after lunch at least. And so I, you know, continued that way for quite a few days. So I basically just told my doctor that I couldn't take this um, dose anymore and so he prescribed 25 milligrams for me and um, yeah that was a lot better in that I had no side effects at all but it was enough to still help me improve on the symptoms of ADHD that I was dealing with on a daily basis. You know and I've been on this medication for quite a while now and I did go up to 30 at one stage just to try it again because I thought you know I'd been on it for quite a while um, and it might have a positive effect on me and less side effects and I felt exactly the same as I had done before. I feel that I've gone from having like moderate severity ADHD to very mild ADHD and I couldn't really ask for more than that because you know you're never going to get perfect um, but it has had such a huge impact on my life that I like to share that with other people and let you know that you know sometimes maybe you're recommended like a higher dose perhaps um and that's why it hasn't a medication hasn't worked for you um so something perhaps to take to your doctor if you're on a too high a dose and you're feeling like it's not helping you that much but you know i've had people tell me that they take like 80 milligrams um and it works really well for them and they have minimal side effects so so yeah for some people a higher dose really really does help them um, but for me personally uh, 25 milligrams works really really well so I think that's all I really wanted to say in this video hope you guys are well and you know I'd love to know about your experiences with this medication um, so leave a comment down below if you have any experiences and I will see you guys again soon